see a Guinness Book of World Records every day, but this morning we're getting a look at one from a former beloved colleague of ours. Yeah, Hannah Welker, live in Phelps with former morning reporter Stan Munro as he's turned the art of toothpick building into a career. Hey there, Hannah. It is a career, a crazy career, but... But uh, it's not my first crazy career, so... <laughs> <laughs> he used to do what I'm doing now, so... He led the way. He was a pioneer to our morning feature reporting. She's just doing it better than I am, and I don't like it very much. <laughs> Stan, hold this book up. Be really proud because you're in it. Um, tell me the process of getting a Guinness World Record. Uh, you know what? It's not easy, but uh, I didn't want it to be for just something with the, the, the largest number of toothpicks. People ask me all the time how many toothpicks are in it. I have no idea, and I really don't care. I don't count them. I'm not that kind of crazy. Totally different kind of crazy here. We're in the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's tallest toothpick structure. That one is uh, just over 16 feet tall. It's the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Now, the Golden Gate Bridge that is in front of it is twice as long as that is tall and twice as difficult and uses half the amount of toothpicks. Really? So half? Does that make sense that this one wouldn't count towards a Guinness record for the most because there's half, but there's more toothpick engineering that goes into making a suspension bridge. All the way down at the ends of the, the bridge are two Olympic pound weights, Olympic 45 pound weights on either side. They are the things that are holding the bridge together with just toothpicks. That's unbelievable. Now, you're still, it's still a work in progress. And what record are you trying to break with this one? I'm trying to break a record for the longest toothpick bridge, which would be 40 feet long. But they don't quite have a record for it yet. So, Guinness, if you're listening, this would be a big record. Check it out. Check it out. I'm not sure Probably. it's possible. <laughs> but we'll find out. In one week from Saturday, uh, we're going to knock out the, the pylons underneath and hopefully this thing will be standing using only Does it make, English. I mean, how is it staying up right now? Are you nervous that if you take those out, the structure won't support itself? I am terrified. <laughs> the only thing I can compare this to, the, the nerve level, is asking my now father-in-law permission to marry his daughter. Whoa. That's how scary it is. Whoa. He's comparing it to a marriage proposal. I, I don't know. Okay, that one was scary. <laughs> <That was right. laughs> I hope that's a little scary. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's kind of like unreal that this is this is your life now, and that this you've got you get opportunities like this. You said you sold your first one in Exhibit, in Spain. In Spain, they sent us over to Spain. We sent up set up fifty buildings out there to make a toothpick city. This has become so big that it's now just called Toothpick World. You come out to the Phelps Art Center for the next couple of weeks. It'll be here. And free admission, you get to see a hundred scale buildings from around the world. Kids have to love this because they see kids play with toothpicks and they build things when they're younger. But I, I don't think they ever think like, oh my gosh, someone could have really a job one day doing this. And that's, a, that's the funnest part is when I see uh, parents walk in with their kids and they'll go, oh, look, Billy, he made this. Out. Whoa. <laughs> If you can stop even the adults in their tracks and go, I just wanted people to see something yeah, he, crazy. I still want like people he, to see crazy. And then they leave and they go, stay in school, Billy, because yeah, you'll yeah, end up like this guy. <laughs> Don't think too All right, good point. Yes, Adam? Yes, Adam. Uh, question, two questions. Adam. A, what does he listen okay. to, Hannah, when he does this? Does he listen to anything, music, talk shows, or is it he's just all in his listen mind while he's doing this? I, Terry would kill me, but I listen to Top 40 music and I, oh, I don't know. Yes. He's more of a little story. Rihanna. Yes. I'm sorry. He's bringing two <laughs> yeah, I'll Taylor blast Swift. it. I, and Stan, Come I'm on, wanting... There is no place I'd rather be than right here at Phelps Art Center. Oh, but speaking yeah. of transporting... The how, passion. Yeah, Stan, how do you transport this stuff? I, I've been wondering, do you have very to really kind of break it up into... Yes. Very, like, into sections <laughs> and then put it back together or... Well, that's, that's the engineering part of the whole thing is they have to come apart. The bridge comes apart into nine different sections and they have to go back together. Wow. That's scary. That's, that's a lot, is, of, that's a lot of trust in other people. It's a lot of packing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, know what, what I mean? we'll see. A lot we'll of see bubble wrap. They I, always pop. A lot of you bubble know, it's wrap. All about, it's all about making stuff. 
Rochester's getting its first mini Maker Faire, November 22nd. If you know what a Maker Faire is, you know how huge this is. I'll be there. I'll hold you to it. I'll be there. And we'll go together. Terry, I'll make sure that you go. We'll be there. Cool. We'll be there. <laughs> this is we'll be great. right back here in a little bit. So I'll see you guys. I love when Stan comes back. It just, it's a trip down memory lane for mm -hmm. myself and so many people. So.